Totally forgot <laughs> the book of names, y'all. I totally forgot that I was going to share the names um, for this last reading, okay? Where there was some bounty hunters in a situation, a karmic situation, that went to jail. They got sick in jail and they died. It was um, some men karmic males, actual physical men. And I just got through with that reading and I totally forgot. <clears throat> I have James at the bottom of the deck here. I totally forgot that I said I was going to bring out the book of names for basically anybody that could have played a role in this situation. So this is a mixture of divine and karmic energies here. Okay. So your name may show up here, the you know, divine feminine, divine masculine, the karmics that were involved, okay? Um, the bounty hunter that died, their name may show up, okay? May or may not, doesn't matter, but this just amplifies probability if some of the names that come up could be family members, friends, people that were somehow connected in some way, shape, form, or fashion, knew something, about something, right? So we're going to get the book of names because it's connected to the last reading. And then we're going to get into the good shit really quickly. Well, I'm never quick. But this is for the, <laughs> the high vibe, divine feminine and masculine. So after all this unfortunate shit has happened, you know, this is the good shit that you all are manifesting, the energy supporting you, the energy you're embodying, the energy that you're co-creating as you... Uh, continue to make your way through all this crazy shit, right? Because people dropping like flies left and right because they don't want to leave you alone, okay? People are, you know, going through divorces in their prospective lives because they won't stop interfering in your life's choices. They were players in interfering in people's happiness. I have Sheila. Uh-huh. I have Darnell. I have Martha. This could be anybody though, okay, you guys? So I have Pam. This could even represent passed on loved ones or ancestors. Some of the names just depends, right? That could have been playing a role in like intervening CL. Oh, I wish a motherfucker would. Because he'll be next. Debbie. Marsha. Mike. Yeah, this keeps, okay, help me out, team. Same names are coming out here. Let's do some mixing. What's out here? Okay, let's get the names. Still Debbie at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Okay. Book of names, Shane just flipped out. Okay. This is collective. Your name may pop up or somebody you're thinking of. Connected to the reading in some way though. Okay, whether it is they had knowledge of it, they were involved in it directly or indirectly. Um, divine or karmic. Okay, and the person that, that died, okay, name may show up. Okay. 
Okay, book of names here. Light team, help me out. This is a general collective, so it's all over the place. I know. Book of names, individuals involved in the last reading. I gotta get some more cards to add because I want this to be a little bit more diversified. Okay. I have Darrell Sr. Okay. Christine. Darnell. Ruby. John. Heather. Larry. Mike, Johnny, Jack, Marlena, Howard, Jean, Jennifer, Karen, Vera E, Venus, Minnie, Marsha, Anthony, Lamont, Risa, Veronica, Sean, Raven, Daniel, Sharon, Roosevelt, Brittany, Ray, Monique, Sherry, Maxine, Patricia or Patty, Angel, Jill, David, Ramon, Bridget, Vanika, Adria, and Shane. Okay, just because your names didn't show up doesn't mean it's not your story. Okay, this just kind of amplifies probability. Again, some of these people could be passed on, like I said, it could be passed on ancestors, loved ones that were trying to intervene to assist in some way. Darrell Sr., at least for my son, I can see that. I would know why. At the bottom of the deck, I have Gina. Brandy with an I. That's, there I am. Kim. Kelly. Alfonso. Ariana. Stacy. Cynthia. Priya, Erica, Lorenzo, <laughs> Sheila, Tammy, Pam, Brianna, Omir, James, Yusuf, Latoya, Nikki, Gayla, Rhonda, Maisha, Mickey and Tweety, Frank, oh boy, Fred, Nancy, Tina, Kelly again, Kelly twice, Chris, <laughs> Nick, Derek, Darrell Jr., 
Alicia. They gonna wish they didn't fuck with him. Doris O. They gonna wish for me, die, bitch. Gerilyn. They gonna wish this shit. Susan. They gonna wish this shit. Listine. Kayla. Nita. CL. Bam. Vico. Chelsea. Roy. And there's Debbie. Okay. So those are the bottom of the day, y'all. Okay. So these are some names that these could be all over the place. People that found out, heard about it, know about it. People could have been involved. Um, certainly some of them were obviously involved. It could have been the bounty hunters themselves. Family members, friends, y'all know the, the name of the game, okay? So now moving from that, my high vibers, my warriors, okay? The motherfuckers I tilt my hat off to out there, okay? It was foolish for these motherfuckers to do this shit. humans. Look at I cut the deck at Divine Feminine. Damn. Okay. I cut the deck, bitch. It's like, yeah, they they fence and learn, bitch. Okay, anyway, it's got the, <laughs> the cosmic egg. It says the Divine Feminine. See, this is where they fucked up. This is where they fucked up, man. I hold the universe... Within me, I am the force of an ever-expanding love. You guys operate from love, and this is why people will pay a severe penalty from fucking with you to start. No matter who they thought they were. What they thought their titles were, their beliefs, their importance. This is why people are paying a severe penalty now. Because they were not asked about whether or not see people are trip. Well, well I don't think I, I, I mean they weren't asked it ain't up to them they were doing all this shit to loving beings is my point to undeserving people of their fuckery the mother it says here Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. Hello. See, the hello. Divine Feminine, you guys operate in love and you're, gra you're grateful. These people may claim to be whatever the fuck they claim to be, but they obviously are toxic. Most of them are mental patients. You have to be unwell to do what these people did. That's just my point. You have to be unwell. You have to be off. And I don't care if they have five Bibles across. I don't care if they got a sage bundle or a Reiki center. But to operate as such, you have to be fucked up. The goddess of abundance. See, this is you all. We're asking about what's coming to you all collective and what energy is supporting you or what you operate in, what you're manifesting. I have Lakshmi. Maybe you had a lifetime. Maybe <laughs> you was an Indian bitch. Okay, it says the goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. It's an inside job. And if these people had caught a clue about that, they wouldn't have participated in the fuckery to begin with. They would have called a fucking clue. Yeah. Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Wow. See what I'm saying? These people. Oh, wait. 
for the High Vibe Collective, the Divine Feminines and Masculines, energies that they are operating in or supporting them, that's helping them to bring in. There's too many things. What they're healing through here after going through this shenanigans with these motherfuckers. These crazy motherfuckers. Help me out, my team. Got a lot of hoppers here. Divine feminine and masculine alike. Those that are actually healing, transforming. Those that were at the receiving end of these injustices in the reading. Due to karmics, bounty hunters, and haters, naysayers. Boom, bitch. I got the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Wow. You guys are manifesting some deep shit, some good love, okay? Your devotion. You guys are being supported to manifest this. Yes, because you guys have to deal with a lot of unloving energy. These are probably a lot of past life karmic lunatics. Or past life karmic, you know, servants or whatever it is that just didn't want to quit. Yeah. Yeah, look at Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I always will be, which is in love. Yeah. These people wanted you to be an outsider, <laughs> but it only served to make you great. That's so sad. They wanted you to be an outsider so damn bad. Sickos. The poetess. Yeah. These people were jealous, man. The warrior saint. I am a warrior. Exactly. And this is where they fucked up. She's got a sword in her hand. You guys probably can't see it, but she's got a sword. But it's, look, it says, I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Some people didn't understand. See, I, I talked about this on another video. People assume because they have to result to some evil, wicked shit to do shit, that it must mean that everyone else is having to resort to some evil, wicked shit to get shit. That's because that's their vibration. That's because that's their frequency. That's because that's what they had to do, even if they covered it up. So they assumed you got support because of your devotion to this path, okay? And here it is again, Divine Feminine. This is certainly about you, Divine Feminine. This is where people went to the left wrong. They went wrong. You guys are warriors. Okay, you're attracting resources and support. And the more people try to block it, the more they're going to cry. <laughs> it's going to be more dropping like flies. It's going to be more in this bed. It's going to be more chaos and conflict. It's going to be all the shit that they try to do to you on themselves. <clears throat> it's that simple. Ascension, look at this. It says Ascension. You guys are ascending. All this fuckery just helped you to go ahead and elevate to become their worst fucking nightmare. <laughs> should have left you alone. That's how I feel collective. People should have just went on about their lives and should have left you alone altogether. They should have altogether left you alone. People don't have to like you, but they should have altogether left you alone. They didn't have to agree with who you were, what you did do, but they should have altogether left you alone. Okay? They certainly didn't have a right to steal from you. Okay? So they're going to get what they deserve. It's just that simple. Forgiveness. This has been coming out how many times, y'all, in different decks, yo? So you guys are manifesting forgiveness and a renewal here, okay? Or as you forgive yourself and release, like you're going to be empowered. And look at this. Sexy. Ooh. Renewal. All right. What we 
we got team. Y'all manifesting some bomb shit. Look, inner strength here. You guys are being granted strength and balance. Thank you, team. Queen of the Outsiders have found balance and inner strength. This is what they didn't see. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Warrior. Oh, shit. Ooh, there it is. See, that's, see, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, Kali came in. Kali is here. Okay, Kali Ma to work with the shadow. Okay, all this shadow energy you've been fucking with, y'all. It's like, ooh, child. That's what's being dealt with. There's some kind of renewal here, facing fears also, okay? Devotion, attracting, facing fears. Kali Ma is assisting with removing obstacles here. Which is some of these people that's being moved the fuck out the way. They should have left you alone. Just mind their business. Keep their mouth off you. They just, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I have the Knight of Cups here. So this is communication. Somebody may want to be your friend. Somebody may want to come in and work with you. Or you may be wanting to go in and work with somebody. Depends on who's listening. The Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Could also represent apology since we have forgiveness on the board here. A king of pentacles. It could go okay. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be one to work with someone here. Eight of pentacles. Wanted to be a... Oh, boy. Yeah, you guys are manifesting people that, um, they may want to say, like, sorry about your loss, sorry about, um, you know, the, the shit you went through, the chaos and conflict, or if people know about it, this five of ones, the jealous people, they could be like, man, I'm sorry that you had to go through that with people being jealous of you or jealous of your work or fighting against you and your work and something like that because you wanted to independently work on yourself or yeah I have a king of pentacles and a king of cups maybe the same person I don't know yeah after end like see here's the death here's the death that happened I got the death card right here Okay, somebody loves somebody, so oh, shit. Y'all could be fencing to manifest a husband, shit, bitch. Look, depending on who y'all are, y'all might be fencing to manifest either some friends and partnerships, which is beautiful energy in itself, people who want to actually work with you just, you know, as a partner, as a friend. Then some of you guys are also manifesting people who, um, like, if that's what you want with all of this love and devotion energy, like, you could be manifesting husbands that's going to be a good husband and actually love you okay uh because i had king of pentacles king of cups back to back okay back to back all right first column team what's helping the collective two of swords in the reverse yeah you guys have complete clarity no more confusion no more indecision. Okay. Yeah. Somebody knows the truth here about what was causing, who was stealing your fortune, this karma, karmics, seven of swords. Why is two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, coming out here? The high vibe collective is manifesting here. Like now I got a king of swords, bitch. What? I got three kings, yo. Remember Divine Feminine? No, I did say y'all had three motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, y'all got three after ya. Because now I got the king of swords showing up. They're all showing up in the upright, by the way, so far. Let me see. I don't know. Two of wands. Oh, two of swords. This is getting good. Maybe you're about to get some clarity. 
Yeah, you guys are, yeah, I got the magician here. Yeah, clarity about what was causing stuff for you, which you probably already know anyway, but there may be some more clarity coming in about it. Yeah, and oh, you're manifesting an offer. Ace of Pentacles, bitch. Oh, shit. Or somebody thinks I'm going to come in and apologize for either stealing something or wanting to bring healing and balance with this temperance. Somebody could be wanting to say they're sorry because they see the truth about you. Collective, because you could be the gift. Temperance, forgiveness, or your gifts, what you do, okay? Or whatever your talent, whatever it is. Because people could, you know, humans are interesting. We got all our labels and programs and shit. It's, it's, it don't even be shit. If you like stupid, it's like the fuck. Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody want forgiveness. They may know about with this interference, what was creating something, the sun in the reverse, what was hidden. Six of Pentacles reverse. Now Seven of Cups reverse. Death. Here it is. I was like, okay. Like I said, somebody could be either one to say sorry for your loss, whatever the death was, or they're sorry for something that could have been stolen with this Two of Swords reverse, clarity about this offer, this Ace of Pentacles, or trying to put it into you, or it's trying to slow you down. Some people, like, the people that are maybe getting a clue may be being guided to do it, those that are not too far gone. Because some people are just, they're just way gone, they're gone. They're all together gone. They're going to just die. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to change. They're not going to, you know, confess. They're just going to die. Like, I'm so sorry. Because there are some people that are that toxic that rather die and suffer and get all their penalties than to come clean and tell the truth, you know? Knight of Swords is in the reverse, okay? So here's the good thing. Whoever is coming in, this is somebody gonna, it's well thought out, okay? They're gonna be gentle. They're gonna come in to help bring balance. They're not going to, yeah, a cup of love, an offer of love. The universe is helping you all manifest this because you guys have dealt with enough unloving people, fake ass, fake asses. <laughs> You dealt with enough fakes, frauds. Deal with enough of it. Universe is backing you guys up here. Yeah, people that's coming into work with you, but it's slow and steady. They're going to, they want to invest. Seven of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles could be a new job. Business partnerships, like I said. Chariot is here. Somebody could be wanting to, yeah. Queen of Cups. Hold up. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. And Ten of Cups. Wow. Some of you is definitely people that see you as your their happiness or you're manifesting happiness for your life. Ten of Cups in the upright. Two of Cups in the upright. Queen of Cups. This is a divine feminine energy. Chariot. Okay. You may be about to get a new car. You may be about to move or travel. Okay. Somebody may want to invest. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, okay. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed, Sultan? I get that it's because it's not going to be volatile. Yeah, it's not going to be toxic. As soon as I said that, I have Devil Reverse. So it's not going to be toxic, addictive, you know, traps and shit like that. Toxic attachments where people trying to lure you in and shit, bitch. As soon as I said that, I broke my nail, bitch. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to help you to move into karma waters. Six of swords. Releasing toxicity. Karma waters. Yeah. From all these people that was jealous. You guys had a lot of jealousy. And, I know, and I'm not just saying that. It's just the truth. You had a lot of low vibrational people. And I don't care what their name is. That was jealous of you. 
secretly competing with you, toxic, just jealous. People, yeah, and that's sometimes I said that, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, and that's the fucking truth. That's been the main issue of the hour. It's why lives are gone now unnecessarily. All behind jealousy. And needing to win at all costs. And need, yeah, it's just sick. And this is why people are interfering and trying to get you stuck. They don't want you guys to have options. And then they wonder why they end their lives not having options. I mean, I don't get it. Last column. Last column. What's coming in for the High Vibe Collective? I like that there's truth and clarity here. Four of Pentacles reverse. That's liberation. That's freedom. Okay, Six of Cups. People can't hold on to you. People can't have power and control over you. People of your past, Six of Cups, that's what you guys are manifesting liberation. They can't. And if it's something that they held back, that um, was yours, either they're going to willfully release it or it's going to be pushed the fuck away from them some kind of way. Either they're going to willfully give you justice and give you what's yours or it's going to be ripped the fuck away from them anyway. One way or the other, it's that release energy. It's like, okay, Kali is coming in for that. She coming in for that. Like, either y'all going to do justice and give this motherfucker that shit, or we fence them to just go ahead and help everybody around this piece. Either you bring justice or you lose your shit too. <laughs> like, yeah, you ain't getting away. You going you to bring justice or you going to do justice? Yes or no? No? Okay. But you guys are, um, <laughs> they can't have power and control. This is a release. You guys are being empowered here to release any fear, okay? To face any fears, overcoming obstacles. You're being supported. You're um, being faced with a choice. I do have two of wands. You guys are going to have your choice. Ah, oh, why is that here? Of pentacles. Ancestors, how is this helping? I got Will of Fortune, but I don't like its position. Four of Pentacles. Oh, because this is about what people did to their destiny or something that belonged to them. People have to let it go. Why is the yeah, Will of Fortune? Or they're gonna be forced. They ain't gonna really have much that's gonna happen one way or the other. Yeah, the hangman reverse. You guys are released. People can't stagnate you. Something. The devil is coming out in the upright. What is that? Is that mastery? What is this? Why is the devil coming out? It jumped over on top of the three of pentacles, ace of swords. Is it pertaining to the people who held their fortunes or who hid shit from them? The sun. Yeah. Yeah, the, the final judgment. Yeah, it was poor judgment, but some clarity and some truth is coming. Facing fears. This has been, um, whoever this was, whatever this is, they're losing. They will not have power and control. They're under judgment, but yeah. Yeah. Here it is, Ace of Cups. Due to this self-love you guys are operating in, you guys are manifesting a cup of love, somebody offering love here in a new beginning with the, the fooled energy. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to face something, though. There's going to be some help. You get to face something. People are not going to be able to have power and control over you. You guys are confident. Um... Four swords reversed, page of cups reversed. Everything is going reversed. How is this helping? Star, there it is again. Okay. You guys are healing. You're going to get your wishes fulfilled here. Aquarian energy. It's trip 
me out with that devil, though. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, the people who are under judgment for trying to say you guys are toxic. <laughs> the irony. The toxic say you toxic. <laughs> the crazies say you crazy, collective. I find this fascinating. Just fascinating that the toxic say you toxic and the crazies say you crazy. Yeah, because of their belief systems usually. It's like, but don't you believe that the shit you're doing fucked up? Like, let's still, let's go back to that. Let's, let's just make this shit plain, bitch. Like, come on. Stop fronting. <laughs> but I want to pause right here. This is the favorite place people go to to hide their toxicity, though. The best way that you can hide that you are envious, jealous, and insecure, and petty, and low down, dirty scoundrel is... By hiding behind a religion or a spirituality. That's the best way to do it. Because then you could hide your, you know, your slight remarks, your so-called concern, your words behind some kind of religious bent to make it appear to be like, you know, there's nothing ugly that's really driving the conversation or the actions towards somebody. That's the best way to do it. And when people are unhealed and asleep and they're not dealing with their own shit, but they have, they have piled onto themselves a lot of religious bits, then, am I still here? Is it still there? Okay. Then they, I think I am. Twinkly lights. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make sure. Okay. I think I'm here. Um, Then they hide, you know, they hide behind that. That's it's and it's easy. It's an easy go-to. It's standard. It's standard. And when people look closer and deeper, they'll find the truth. It's the, the most for, for what I'm gathering, it's like the most common thing people do. Because then nobody's gonna look to pay attention to what's really driving somebody's behavior. If somebody can just come and quote a Bible verse or if they can just woo dee woo dee woo and woo dee woo dee woo, then people aren't going to look at the fact that what's beneath the, the, under the hood of this person, what's beneath the surface here for real? For real. Why they, by, they bypass their toxicity. They bypass the fact that something like, let's make this make sense. Because the people that be scheming and scamming against people want to talk about who toxic. Like, I, I'm done with that. I'm done, man. Yeah, eight of cups in the reverse. So this is, you guys got maybe somebody coming back to emotionally invest. If it's someone of the past. If it's not someone of the past collective. Either way, it's people who are attached to their emotion and they know how to properly invest in others. So there's people that's going to be coming in wanting to invest as well. Okay, where it's not going to be you just giving out, giving out, giving out emotion and they're just taking and running off and then just want to quote some shit, bitch. Like, really though? <laughs> Don't think so. Nine of Wands reversed. Yeah, somebody's trying to, you guys are going to be getting your confidence built up and you're not repeating cycles, okay? Which is, it's good. It's good. You're not repeating cycles. You're working on your confidence. You're not going to allow people to come in. You will be blocking anything and anybody that come in trying to come against your happiness with this sun in the reverse, Okay. People that like to keep secrets and hide shit from you and play with your head. Here's the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you guys will cut them quick. You're going to cut them quick. Selfish people. Yeah, you're going to cut them quick. People who come against your wish fulfillment. Yeah, it's not going to be a big deal. You're just because you're loving on yourself. You guys are being helped to face your fears. Um. 
investments, strategies and investments. People won't be able to hold you back or hold on to you. Whatever these people did, as you're loving on yourself here, people stealing from you, all this shit. You guys are being supported. This is the good thing about that, okay? I, I like the Ace of Cups here. I like the Ace of Swords here. I like the Ace of... Whoa! I got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. The only thing I'm missing shit is the Ace of Wands, bitch. Boom, bitch. All these new beginnings are here. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody want to apologize. Somebody is trying to plan a way to do that. Where the universe is going to be covering you in some kind of way for whatever this shit was. Balance, temperance. These mental patients with suits on. King of Wands. Six of Wands. Yeah, you guys are going into victory and success. Yeah. Victory and success, fire element. You could be growing. This could be adoration. Okay, this could be online. Yeah. Some people you guys are going to reject. Because it just depends on how people come. I feel like you guys, the high vibers, you'll just be discerning. You guys are being supported in that way. You're facing your fears. It just depends on what kind of energy people come. If they come with to the left shit, they're going to be rejected. You know what I'm saying? If they're not legit, I got the world and justice. Here we go. You guys are manifesting this justice energy for the endings that people cause, people's strategies to try to put it into you, and your stuff or whatever it is. Boom, bitch. Yeah, y'all gonna have some choices. <laughs> yeah, Divine Feminine, you already know. You got some choices. Yeah, here it is. I told you. Four of Wands. There it is. That's marriage. That's 11 11 energy. That stability, that's home life, you know. Yeah, people that was trying to cause blockages for you and your stability. Some of them, mm, about to, yeah. Seven of Wands, you're standing up for yourself. Somebody could be standing up for you, Divine Feminist. Seven of Wands, defending. You're defending, you're protected. You're moving forward. Eight of Wands, somebody could be fencing to travel to you here. Unbeknownst to you, okay? Because I do have the high priestess here. Yeah, but you're standing strong. You're, you're being protected. Somebody could be wanting to apologize for not protecting you or not, you know what I'm saying, standing up for you or some shit like that. Yeah. Six of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is, okay. So that's good, right? Okay, I got all these aces. I got the aces out here. And I got this clarity with the two of swords reverse. And I got the ace of swords upright. So that's truth, clarity, all of these aces, okay. Release energy. <clears throat> Okay, so let's get my deck. I have respect, respect, respect. Healthy boundaries and standing up for yourself has gained respect. Yes, Reiki, light language clearing. Exactly. Joy, joy, bliss, bliss. This is you guys' is good karma that's coming your way. You no longer feel you've missed, right? Unconditional love and support. 
Yeah, because you guys had enough fake love and no support. See, the universe is like coming in, stepping it up. Like you guys are manifesting legit shit. You're funny. People love your sense of humor, right? All right, let's see. What do we have, my team? Help me out. High Vibe Collective. What they're manifesting, what's going good about them. Pertaining to this last reading that we did with these bounty hunters that went to jail, bitch. They died. And that's to be a sign. Hopefully the others catch it. If not, then they'll just have to figure it out and find out like the other one did. Humans really need to learn the lesson of minding their business. I'm going to say that and say that loud. They need to learn the lesson of minding their damn business. It's as simple as that. Okay. So we have here. Good karma. Grace, grace, and more grace. Not afraid to live alone, a free thinker. Sorry about that. Not afraid to live alone, a free thinker. We got past connection is resurfacing to sincerely apologize. Down to earth yet classy and elegant. Complete clarity that did come out in the read here. New homes, vehicles, properties, etc. Restoration of chi, life force energy, stamina. Comforted by the animal kingdom and spirit animals. It's getting easier to read people's true energy. This is alleviating unnecessary stress. Committed relationship is on the horizon. New business ventures are secure. Balancing all of the elements within. You thing effect. Damn, Gina, you fine. <laughs> Bold and beautiful. You're beginning to see the silver lining. For some of you, closure without the apologies. A gift from the gods. Because, you know, it's a choice for people to come forward or not. You will get your closures or whatever it is that you need either way. Safe, protected, secured, nurtured from Gaia and the guides. Released, I know y'all want to shout on this one. Released from the past, narcissist, toxic folks and groups. Yes. Joy, joy, bliss, bliss. You no longer feel you've missed. New job opportunities. Angel number 1111. Open minded yet disciplined. Give them ancestors. Give them a round for their money. Heartfelt, authentic, belly laughs. Get their ass. They don't wish. They already going down every day. Good witch, warlock, natural magician, or light of the light. High honor, moral high ground. This is why people paying for fucking with you. They should have kept their opinions to themselves. They fucked up their own lives. Vacation getaway soon. Financial miracles and grace. Appreciated, acknowledged, and awarded. This is why they should have left you alone. Credit FICA score clearing reset because you guys could have suffered um, identity theft from these nuts, these dizzy nuts. 2023 windfall, financial windfall. My heart is a heart of gold. I have much to offer, but I am Claritha Kent or Clark Kent. 
Yeah, this is where people went wrong. And this is why they panned, because they fucked with some pure-hearted folks. They should have stopped. They should have minded their business. Ancient mantras transmuting dark magic. Yeah, because people have been doing dark magic on your life. Divine feminine, they've been doing this shit on your entire life, bitch. Okay? You know it now. Your whole life. Angel number 222. Angel number 444. Okay, you guys may want to look into that. Handsome, rugged, raw, and real. Yeah, see, this is where they fucked up. I got Harley Quinn. This is the shadow energy right here. And inner strength. This is where they really went wrong. Harley Quinn effect. Your shadow energy was used to defeat your enemies. This is where they should have just stopped when they had a chance. I'll say it that way. Unfortunately, some humans don't get it until it's way too late. And that's what the reading earlier was about, right? The, the gentlemen, these, these bounty hunters. I shouldn't say gentlemen. I should say the bounty hunters that went to jail got sick and died. And that's a warning. Because the more people come for you, the more they're going to see this kind of stuff unfold. 